in this video we're going to focus on how to add on click function to a button in JavaScript so basically what you want to do is when you click the button it should trigger a function very important trick very useful as well so let me explain here should you, because maybe some people might have a discussion should you have a button or an anchor tag using JavaScript on a button is probably more recommended than using a JavaScript on a href or anchor tag and the reason why is simply this a button will always have some triggering to do some JavaScript while a link should be especially for Google they expect a link would redirect you to somewhere else to another website so having a JavaScript and a button is probably the best practice to do all right so what we're going to do here is I'm going to create here a div class and then this this div class is a box and we're going to create our own item here and this will be some text here so the text hello all right and then in here we have a button and this button we will put in here for example we want to change the text color here the moment we click on this button you say here uh, we can make this blue all right so what happens now is to do this we must put in the on click here and the on click basically is this here is an on click and equal and here we put in the function name this will be function name parentheses very important here this is very important so because what we really do here what happens here is basically HTML understands that the moment you click on this button there must be a trigger in a JavaScript we need to search for this function to be activated so that's very important so the moment this happens Java HTML will convert to or will go to the JavaScript part and then search for that whatever it needs so let's say here we have the script for JavaScript and in here we're going to make a function right now we have just a function name but this is just a basic name I don't want to use that because it's not descriptive make sure if you have a function name give it a proper name that by default will describe what it really does so let's say here change color which is very straightforward and of course very easy to understand the first thing what we need to do is first say function this is a command in JavaScript saying that we're going to create now a function and the function will have this name change color change parentheses and then here curly braces and then within here we can start to do anything we want for example if you want to change this color we need to talk in JavaScript that they need to search in HTML for this div or this selector this is what we call selector and in, H in HTML we call it an element but if you are in CSS or JavaScript we are calling this a selector and the selector can be the div element the the box class or any ID so class ID and div are parts of an of a selector so we say here document meaning meaning that HTML or JavaScript must go back to the HTML document this is the document basically or basically this everything from here HTML tag to the closing tag is basically the document or the DOM and then we say here uh, document dot query and query means search search for a selector so now you know what we're going to search for we're going to search for this item here so we could say here anything from a class div id but what we want to do here is string dot and then we say box because that's the specific item we want to pinpoint we want to pinpoint the box class so once we have this one here we got that we say here to remember the dot if it's a ID you can use this but there's also like get element by ID which would make more sense to use in that case all right and then we say dot because what we're going to do now is we want to change the style of our color of the font to blue so what we say here is we need to say go to this selector and in this selector go to the CSS and in that CSS change the color for the font color which is the command color blue so we say style and then we say color and color is specifically also in style if you do CSS if you do CSS you will have color and then you can also adjust the color and we say here would be blue and let's say for example here we say class box 
If you say here color, remember this is the same as in CSS, here this will be red. So we save this now and refresh. You can see we have now here text hello. This button is blue and if you click on this, and then oh, I see something is not working. And the reason why it's not working, what do you think? Well, we forgot to connect these together again. Change name, put in here. Remember the parentheses are always part of it, very important. And refresh, and now we see here if you click, press on this, oh, they yeah, refreshed it properly. And somehow it doesn't work. What do we have here? Change color. What are we missing? Style, color equal blue. Change color, change color. The on click. On click equals this. So there's some tiny issue here. Can I read the property of style? All right. So you say that there, style. And then here, box color. Oh, all right, sorry. We're forgetting here the dot. Horrible. That should not be. There we are. So once we do this, now we see. There you are. So now, so what happened here? And this is maybe a good exercise as well, because so I can make it. Apparently, I made mistakes on this. And it has, that's normal. We all make mistakes. However, I was not paying attention. Here is the dot. The reason why the dot here, make sure the dot here, because it's a class. And I thought I explained that when I probably, I maybe somehow I press a button and deleted it unintentionally. Sorry about that, but this is the way you do it. So here we have that. And imagine here now, imagine the following. We have this. We have here a uh, well. We have well. We can go back to red, and we have one is green. So if you would have this, how would you do this one? Because you would say, well, oh, we need to have three different functions. This is what I did before. Oh, I need to have three different functions. It would be change color blue, change color red, change color green. No, that would be too redundant. What we have is another option here. We can put it in here. These are the parameters or the arguments. So we can put in here a value, for example, blue. And here will be red. And here we will be green. And then what we can do here is we're going to remove this. And basically, we're going to say there is a value here. And this can be color. And this is basically the argument. So this argument here is going to use. And that will be whatever it is depending on which button we click. So once we click on this button, blue, it will understand, aha, the value here, or the argument is blue. So get the blue, put the, put that in the color, and color, so basically then at that moment, the moment we click, color equals blue. And here, if you click on this, color equals green. Save this, refresh, we have three different buttons now, and pay attention on the color here. There you are, now it's red, and then it's green, and so we can change anything you want and there you are and this is how you can use these parameters to make more efficient items and this is how you add a on click to a button in javascript thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.